What's up, everybody? This is your boy, CEO the Villain, and welcome to Shy Reloaded Magazine. Now, today is debate time. You know, other magazines probably, you know, do debates, uh, probably don't, but on this page, we're doing a lot of debates, and I, I, I really like, you know, I really want a lot of, um, you know, uh, feedback from y'all, you know, in the comments, let me know what y'all think when they get it, when, whenever y'all free, or if, if, if this topic interests you as an individual, you know, male or female, just, you know, do your thing, tell me how you feel, I'll respond back, you know, let's, let's, let's debate about it, you know, we don't have to turn up about it, but the topic of the day is fashion, I love fashion, I love, you know, Getting my fashion, my, my 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 fresh, my glow on. I like to I like to be I like to be fresh. But the four four in, four individuals um, rappers that we're talking talking about today is Kanye West, Fabulous, Cameron from Dipset, and also Joel Santana from Dipset. Yeah. We're gonna talk about these these um different you know MCs um styles. Individually, um, starting with Kanye West. Now, Kanye West from the same place I'm from, Chicago. So, um, but he's from the South Side. I'm from the North Side. But um, I don't know. I think his style comes with his emotions because his like, if you really think about it, when he was um doing the late registration album, he was more dressing like college kid, preppy, you know, backpack, teddy bear. I don't know what the teddy bear was for. I think that was his mascot. But other than that. It was more of a college kid look because I think he was um, going towards the college look or he was he dropped out of college to pursue his music or whatnot. But at first it was like that. And then it progressed into more um, preppy, preppy look with the um, polo polo shirts and um, what's, the, what's that? Um, Pharrell clothing line. The, um, I think it's BBC, but uh, I know it's ice creams and shit like that. But he was doing the more of a rapper look, but it was more preppy. Now, in 2016, 15, he's doing, like, when the Heartbreaks album came out, which is more, like, sad and more, like, um, you know, it's, it's a sorrow album, as I say, like, because you can feel his pain coming from, you know, from his um music because, you know, the dude, dude of um his mother passing during the time and whatnot, he was dressing more of... um. I don't know. I can't really explain it because it's, it it got a weird a weird um, look to me, like like shirts with holes in them, stretch like three X. Then you know I don't know that look. I don't know. I don't want to say he was looking homeless, but I understand where he was coming from. You can make anything out of nothing. Do your thing, but I don't know. I didn't really understand the Yeezys look. Like I I like the shoe. They just cost too damn much. And, but the clothing, I don't, I don't know. I can't see myself rocking some of the things that he had in this um, fashion show. I, I'll be looking like Jay-Z, like, what the hell is this? But uh, other than that, you know, do your thing. But Kanye West got to, um, the flow is decent. Now, we're going to talk about Fabulous. Fabulous is from New York. Um, thank you from the Bronx. I hope I'm not wrong. Bronx or the Harlem, because I know I'm going hear, to hear, hear feedback from all the New York niggas. They're like, man, we just let D Rose over. You going to fuck up the name? Oh, man. But his, his, his style is vivid. Like, it's very, like, vintage, like I can say. He, he wear, he bring back a lot of 90s, 90s, 80s clothing um, they used to wear back then. And um, he bring it back up to time. Like, he had the jersey from uh, Martin, if you remember. Same jersey, um, I think it was like the college jersey. Back then, a lot of people was wearing like college, advertising college, universities and everything because it was a lot of black colleges and everybody was just trying to engage everyone about going to college at that time. They're still doing it now, but it was more insufflential back then. I hope I said that word right. But other than that, he is more like a vintage, vintage dresser. Like, um, I don't know. Like he brings things back from the past and bring them up to the time that we, the era that we in now, and try to you know catch it, 
catch it up and you do like an excellent job like it's a lot of outfits that i'm like man i need to find what the fuck he got there from t-shirts and everything because it's just it's great but the next person we're talking about now is cameron now cameron is the president of the dipset you don't know dipset they also from new york um they cameron jay-z uh, Hell Real, Freaky Ziki, and J.R. Ryder. Still listen to him back then, like every day, still do. Still got the hits. Um, the producers they usually fuck with was like the hit makers and shit like that. But uh, other than that, Joel uh, Cameron uh, style is more hood. Like he was the first one to, to actually rock the color pink hard and had the whole world rocking. Hood to hood pink And I'm like Oh man It's an academic But Like his style is is I can say It's more of a statement When he When he does it With his music Because he made that That color Trending Um Color Um Back in like 2007 I think But other than that It's I could just say it's, His style's more hood You know more Um Urban Usual It's just very Very urban And, and casual at times but um, business will be the same, just casual, nothing too, nothing too much. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's it's unique how how, how his style flows than than and how other people styles is as well. He he still stand out. So you know, last person is Joel Santana. Now Joel's his style is more of a um, how can I say? Say like an artist, but more of a, um, I don't know, like a pirate. Say if a pirate was a rapper, right? And he owned a clothing store with all the first gear, but he he want all his pirate shit up in there. That's Joel Santana swag to me. Like it's skull heads and and and, and um, I don't know. It's like motorcycle, motorcycle type of. Um, Type of style at times because of the jackets, the leather jackets that he be getting and everything. It's I don't know. It's very vivid. It's plus the scars he used to wear. It's 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 very vivid to me. He's vintage, well, so it's more like um I wouldn't say emo, but I would say like a dark, like a I don't know, almost so close to you know due to the jackets and the skull heads and shit. So I could say like an urban emo um, type of style with the jackets and, you know, the skull heads and everything. And um, I don't know. Maybe he don't dress like that anymore. But um, other than that, I don't know. He, he got more of a fitted swag too as well with his, um, with everything, with the Fendi, Fendi Gucci belts and everything, as you can see from the videos. Stand out just like everybody that was with them said standing out for some form of fashion as well. So you gotta really think about the aspect. Some of them, um, everybody was different from each other. That's why the music was popular back then. And also, in a debate right now, everybody from Fabulous Kanye West, Cameron, Joel Santana is different from each other from style. So I want to know from you guys in your category who has the best to me. In my category, I would honestly say Fabulous. Just just for being retro and bringing everything back. But other than that, who, in your opinion, is the 